Hey, welcome back. This is Jeff Quinton here at the Quinton Group TV. And yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. Today's topic is going to be the four mistakes that a seller can make and screw up the sale of their home. And before we get to that, um, you know, right on the blog here, if you're looking to search for homes, please click this button. If you're looking for a home value, uh, an evaluation of your home, what you may be able to get for in the market today, please click this button. So, okay, back to the topic. So, the topic is four mistakes that could screw up the sale of your home. Number one, and again, we all kind of, uh, as realtors, know this. Number one, trying to sell it on your own for sale by owner. See, what you got to understand about is for sale by owners, buyers prey on for sale by owners. They're automatically going to take off the commission immediately when they're trying to buy a property right now from you. That's number one. Number two, lack of exposure. Think about it. You know, 98% of homes today are sold by realtors. All the exposure we're able to get you. Yes, I understand they're trying to save the commission. They always are. But unfortunately, I think that the statistic now is up to 18% between what a homeowner ends up getting when they sell it on their own as a net versus with a realtor. So it's a huge loss in the sale of the home, they lose money. They think they're gaining, but unfortunately they don't get the exposure, lose money there. So number two is, in the same kind of realm, is um, mispricing your home. So big mistake is not pricing the property properly. See, in the very first, uh, basically 30 days, two to four weeks is when your property's gonna get the most exposure. If you overprice your listing, unfortunately, buyers won't even show up. Buyers are more educated today than ever. They can go to the internet, just like you're watching this today, figure out what's sold, they understand it. And we as real estate agents and professional agents want to price it properly to drive as much traffic to the property as possible. Price it right, get offers to come in, and that's where we come in to bid the property up. It's almost like an auction. You need to start at the right price to get more activity to get you your price. If you overprice it, you simply are going to miss the market, stay longer on the market, and as you and I both know, the longer you're on the market, the less price you're going to get because people start to feel there's something wrong with it. Third mistake is, you know, I see this all the time, unfortunately, is using lousy photos. I mean, have you looked at some of these photos some of these agents out there are using? It's, it's incredible. So you have to make sure they're using quality photography and photos when putting the properties and marketing it, especially online. You know, 90% of buyers today go online to market or go online to, to shop for these homes. They're looking at photos and images. And the way that everything's getting ranked today, just so you know, is the more photos you have, the better images you have, the Google's ranking it, and you're getting more traffic. So it's real important to have great photos that portray the property and many of them. And that's what's gonna uh, attract the buyers to come look at the property online. And again, the, the, the fourth thing that screws up houses today is just curb appeal. Understand that you gotta be priced right, good photos, um, and, and you gotta have it looking good from the outside. The goal is to get buyers in the door. You're gonna get them in the door by condition, location and price. If price is right, if location is good because you can't move the house, but the condition outside doesn't look good, they're going to drive it right by it. Now you're going to go in. Even though you have to, everything inside can be brand new, curb appeal is where it's at. You've got to make sure people are attracted to wanting to come into the property, then price it right, and then a good location all the way through. So hopefully those tips have helped uh, to, to be able to get you the best price. If we can help you in any way, call me. Uh, again, this is Jeff Quinton. Our direct number is 609-398-5333. And as always, we look forward to your conversation being the best of our day. Thanks for watching.